If I make it there, that is. Yep, denied of a rune here. Matthew. In trouble though. Yep, Stole charge up. into Blood Grenade, puts down the Nether Ward, and see Smile. Is he actually going to pursue this or will he just farm up the ward? Didn't quite get enough body blocks there on Matthew. And that's 25 gold for the ward that Kiyotaka will <laughs> deny. <laughs> Solo no trying bad. to TP out will be fine. Electric Vortex now finding C Smile. He's going to get some help via the charge set up by the Avalanche to start it out. C Smile will live, but now we got more members of EG. Nice blocking on a Kiyotaka. Avalanche, that's the toss. Wrong one. It's been a while since I cast that hero. As they're actually oh going to get God. the first blood onto Kiyotaka. Very nicely bag. done. The Did rupture, what? pretty good. Yeah, it's good against Skyrath. Skyrath, if you get the stun lock. Avalanche toss, speaking of which, onto Kiyotaka. Not quite level six, but he's going to get some help from Antares. And Solo making an appearance as well, which means Sea Smile is the recipient there you go. of that. Well, actually getting chased by Miero. Yeah. The Riptide is doing a little bit, but not nearly enough. He's just casually killed by Miero. Not a whole lot needed. TP's coming out as a charge. He's going to hit Antares, but Matthew rethinking his priorities. But now that Sea Smile has showed up, the Avalanche was there. And the toss will ensure the death of the Spider. I mean, otherwise you can't justify it, whether I made a good point or not. Didn't hear it. Oh, we have a charge. Other side of the map onto Miero. Nice Ancient Seal onto Sea Smile. It can prevent this combo to start things out, but he does get the Avalanche eventually. The TP from Kiyotaka comes into play. Not quite enough damage to take out Miero, but the Avalanche, the toss. I said it again, for God's sake, Cinderin. My bad. Stop putting thoughts into my mind. Miero does fall, despite the rotations from Nine Panda. Ancient Seal is going to provide some extra magic damage and for Kiyotaka, but he's taking so much damage from that Illuminate. Now has very little mana to speak of, and thus will not be able to zip out. Panda will die, but so will Antares. So ends up being a three for one. Double kill for Sea Smile. Oh, I'm sure he'll be very insulted. Sea <laughs> so. Smile. Oh, the Ancient Seal is providing so much for this lineup. They can't quite kill him, though. Finally will drop with help of the Blood Grenade, and Kiyotaka is going to be supplied some mana from Solo, but he's... Oh my is that God, enough to damage. actually get away? A big blinding light comes out, though. And Kiyotaka still trying to walk away. Gets some more mana. Should be able to Ensnare. zip, although the Ensnare comes out. And he's actually going to die as a result. Yeah, he was I think not he had, expecting that. Ensnare. He had time to zip away for sure, but you're right. The Naga showing up, definitely catching him by surprise. Solo will not live. Yeah, his APM is probably still very high. Oh, we have the Avatos from Sea Smile showing off that Blink Dagger, but nice you can charge. see the Mystic Flare doing massive damage. Kiyotaka trying to finish the job, but the Blinding Light is there into the Nether Strike. Beautifully done from EG. Oh, Solo Smoke's going to be broken. Avalanche onto three heroes. Toss to follow. Illuminate doing massive damage. Solo's dead. Mystic Flare is going to be spread amongst many EG members. Thus, no damage really done. So both supports dead for nine pandas and. The rest of these cores trying to run their little legs away. Kiyotaka, Avalanche is going to be dodged. The Arcane Rune coming in handy. Uh-oh. Miero. Oh, he's on the cliff, Miero. They spot him. And the Spider will be targeted. Tossed back, charged into, and squashed. The Caudal, the Undying. Yeah, Panda. Oh, he was spotted, but There's they might be able to turn this around. The silence is lasting for so long. And Snare to follow. Big, big kill for EG. And now the Nether Strike catching Antares. You're welcome for the curse. Solar Bind into the bash. Yeah, he needs to he needs to get there though. We'll back away. Oh, the zip. Very deep. Another Orchid! There's no way he can die again. The okay, he's gonna get decrept. Looks like he's going to be fine. Matthew's the one in a bit of trouble, though, as the rest of Nine Pandas have come. Charges right through the Mystic Flare as Picaz gets off the song. Oh my god, if they have a Disruptor combo here, it'd be insane. Disruptor not in the game, unfortunately. And Kiyotaka will zip on and find Panda with the Electric Vortex and the rest of his team not far behind. Panda's pretty tanky here. He is, Limmer. but his team doesn't seem to want to help. The dominoes will not fall today, says EG. They lose both supports, but nothing more. Yeah. He does get 75% magic resist. He does for the get time period. though. 
Kiyotaka is smoke breaks. He goes in really deep, instantly silenced, but oh, the Yules now. He's gonna get charged through. He is still stunned up, but they're gonna get the Lotus on him. And C Smile caught on the other side of the river, tried to TP out and just dies. Panda looks like he's ruptured. He'll be brought down by nine pandas, and now they are continuing to aggress in this 5v3. Nine pandas better than one panda. Panda in that old form. This is a 5v4 currently. Yeah. I think they're going to want to. Kutaka's charged there. Oh vote. my god, the Roche is changing oh, no, sides. We forgot about the day night cycle. And Drake. C Smile gets the toss back. Blood right coming out. Will connect successfully onto C Smile. As this fight is all over the place, Kiyotaka gets bashed up, but will zip on away. Oh, Ramsey. Ramsey's in a lot of trouble. He's going to get a Lotus Orb applied to him, but now he's stuck in the tree line. Avalanche, toss, killed. 60 seconds of no Bloodseeker, and through the gates they go. And see what EG can accomplish with this Aegis, as they're going to find Kiyotaka. Still silenced up, but the song comes out. Okay, Tombstone placed. It is Grab building Grab ally up. time. Yeah, they're gonna focus down pretty damn fast. The charge is gonna be able to take out the Pugna, but staying alive a little bit longer. Eventually, the Nether Strike actually looks like it was reflected, but regardless, this fight's all over the place. Sea Smile dies, buys back. Mystic Flare, not enough to take out Matthew. And Kiyotaka still with half mana. He's gonna get Orchided in Snare, but able to dispel it off. But there's the Nullifier on top now. Getting charged, which was reflected. Definitely messed up his movements, and that could cost him his. It does cost him his life as Kiyotaka has no way to get back in this game. They find a spider, triple kill for Pakaz, able to maintain Aegis. Huh? I feel like I demoed this. Uh, oh, Miero. He's going to get solar bound, but nice avalanche coming out to hold the Kiyotaka in oh, place. He's nullified shit. as well. Huge kill for EG. There's the buyback available for him. He yields to himself, he just gets immediately knocked Matthew going in through. really deep, charges on two. Oh, they're not done Solo yet. Mind again. Solo, without his master, I don't know if he can survive. His master buys back though, zips on in, eventually will get there to grab ally, preventing some damage. Ramsey's forced to try to take it out, but there's the song. The full reset now for EG. Oh, if they get Kiyotaka again. If they Kiyotaka can get again. Kiyotaka with the dieback nullifier applied, completely surrounded, dieback. And Solo nowhere near. He's going to get whipped into the next life. Terrible butler services from him. Both cores dead for nine pandas, and it's going to be yeah, more than that. GG's over. called, and EG take the series 2-1. That means nine pandas are going to have a very tough time making it to top four. A lot of things have to go their way, including other teams just losing. Yeah. Nine Pandas now one and four. Their best potential score. I love their coach so much. Yeah, he's awesome. Uh, their best possible result at this point will now be three and four, which can potentially be enough for a, a tiebreaker for fourth if things play out. But like you said, no longer fully in charge of it. They are going to have to win as well as other results going the way that they need to. And their remaining matches are not easy. No match is easy in this group in general, but they have some of the worst matchups left. So looking very grim for the Pandas and for EG. They're now three and two. Another win should guarantee them at least a tiebreaker for fourth, if I am not mistaken. I don't know if it's possible to have a 5-3 on fourth anymore with how top-heavy the group has been. I wouldn't think so. Uh, but yeah, EG once again, they go to three games quite a lot, but this time around they managed to close it out and get the win. Yeah, that's I think that's big. one thing from EG that's really uh, been a breath of fresh air is they're using the three games. Like, they're, yeah. they're learning from the losses. Yeah. And okay. they have, they've shown really good resilience in this tournament, I feel like. And this time they played an EG special, right? It was the Whisper, Caudal. They played Sea Smile and Tiny, a hero that basically no other team's been touching. They did some of their own stuff here, some old stuff, if you will, from, uh, from EG, and they made it work very well. 